I'm Chris Shattuck, and this is how to build module scaffolding. In this video, we're going to explore the .info, .module, and README files in detail. If you watched the introduction to module building video, then you saw that when we first created, when we created our first module, we installed it in the sites all modules folder. Now what I've done for this demonstration is to split up the modules in this folder into three subfolders called contrib, custom, and features. Now the logic behind this is that any modules that you download off of drupal.org and use directly without modifying anything goes into contrib. Any modules that are built specifically for the site that you're working on or that you use internally, those modules will go into the custom folder. And then any feature modules or modules created with the feature module go into the features folder. So let's go ahead and start with some example files. What we're gonna do is go through a basic file structure for a module. In our previous video, in our introduction video, we just used two files, the info file and the .module file. And these are really all that's needed for a, a functioning module. But most modules will contain some additional features. And so we're gonna go through kind of a more full-featured module structure that you can use as a basis of more full-featured modules. So go ahead and go to our build a module resource folder and copy the scaffolding folder. And what we're gonna do is paste this into our custom folder. Now go ahead and expand that folder. Let's go ahead and work our way through these files from the bottom up. Let's start with scaffolding.module. Now you probably know from a previous video that the .module file is where our code is stored. However, when we have code that's not going to be executed on every page, we want to put that into another file. And so we have a scaffolding.admin.inc file, and this includes some resources for our admin configuration page. The .info file you should be familiar with. This includes some metadata about the module, and we're going to go through this in exhaustive detail and show you everything that could go into the .info file. And finally we have the readme.txt file and this is a text file that includes instructions on how to install the module as well as what the module is for and any additional details. This is some basic documentation that's available for people to read when they're evaluating the module and trying to figure out what it's supposed to do and it also supplements any help that you add within the module itself. Let's go ahead and go through these files line by line and take a look at, at what's there. 